What's up guys, if you're watching this video, I would guess that you are one of two people. Either you've been around HPA Airsoft for a little while, or you're just starting or wanting to get into it. And you find yourself like I was several years ago when I decided to go HPA myself. You keep hearing this strange word floating around, dwell. And you are either a little unsure what it is or straight up confused because of how much conflicting information there is out there about it. Well, I'm Glenn and we'll be going over what dwell is, what it isn't, and some of the common misconceptions about it on this episode of What The Tech. So let's go ahead and talk about what dwell is for any of this to make sense. Definition, dwell a period of time in which a system or component remains in a given state. First, we're gonna start off by talking about single valve systems. Dwell on all Wolverine Airsoft engines, except the Reaper and lots of single valve engines on the market, dwell is a time value that determines how long the engine can flow air. By adjusting the dwell, you change the amount, the volume of air that you'll be firing down the barrel on each shot as you pull the trigger. By adjusting the amount of time, the valve or the solenoid is allowed to stay open. Well, that makes sense, I guess, but if you could adjust this value, why would you want to? So let's start off by talking about if your dwell is set too high. Let's say you have a big, long 18 inch DMR build. Well, you're gonna need a larger volume of air to propel that BB all the way down the 18 inches of the barrel than if you're running a seven inch setup. So let's say you take the setup that had that 18 inch barrel and change to a seven inch barrel without changing your dwell. Well, now you're using that same volume of air that you needed to propel the BB all the way through the 18 inch barrel of your old setup. That means you're wasting a whole lot of air because long after the BB has left the barrel, the engine continues to be firing air. Now, you might be asking, is this an issue? Well, for a lot of people, they'll probably never notice that they're using too much air. But if you're like me and you're running a small tank on your back, or even a air stock like our Wraith X, this will start to be a lot bigger of an issue for you. As you're using too much air on every shot and going through your already precious air supply much faster than you need to. So let's think about dwell as a way to set the fuel economy of your engine to ensure that you're not using too much air for your barrel setup, but also that you're using enough. One more downside of having your dwell too high is if you're trying to set your rate of fire super high, remember how we said that dwell is the amount of time the nozzle is forward firing the BB? The higher the dwell, the less time the nozzle has between shots in the back position, allowing the BB to feed and the lower the rate of fire you will be able to achieve. So now let's talk about not using enough dwell. This is where a lot of the confusion starts. Some people have noticed that if you set your dwell lower and lower, it will start to set the FPS or velocity of your gun. This is not, I repeat, <laughs> this is not what the dwell is for. It is not for setting the velocity of your gun. That is the job of the regulator. While setting the dwell too low will affect your FPS, this is not what you want. As you set the dwell lower and lower, you'll start to under dwell, under volume your barrel. Remember how we talked about using too much air? Well, this is equally as bad. In the same way that having the dwell too high will keep firing air out of the barrel long after the BB has exited it, having it too low will have the reverse effect and cut off the airflow before the BB has even made it out of the barrel. This might not sound too bad, but having the dwell too low will start to have an adverse effect on your shooting performance, like inconsistent FPS shot to shot, inconsistent hop up issues, and other strange behavior. As the BB is not getting a good volume of air behind it to help it consistently leave your barrel with stable behavior every time. If you want to try and see this in person, the effects of setting your dwell too low can be greatly affected and fun to see in practice for science by simply setting the dwell almost to the bottom setting and at some point it might not even have enough air to leave the barrel at all. So now let's talk about dual valve systems. We're going to take a brief look at some of the dual valve systems and try to understand how the dwell is different on these systems from a single valve. Uh, side note, they're complicated, just like my relationship with uh, Speedsoft. <laughs> a dual solenoid system comes with much more complexity in general. Like we mentioned in the beginning of the video, dwell simply refers to the amount of time that a system or component remains in a given state, and with more valves comes great responsibility. So let's take a look quickly at the four different dwell values that you'll have with a dual valve system generally. Before we get started, it's worth noting that these values might be set automatically or that you might see something slightly different in your controls, but this is the basics to show how these systems work. Dwell one, 
This is the value that controls how much air is flowed down the barrel when you pull the trigger, and is basically the same value that we talked about on the last type of system. Dwell number two is a rest period between firing a BB and loading the next BB. Dwell number three is the value that controls how long your nozzle has to retract and then stay retracted to load a BB in the hop up before cycling the nozzle forward again. As a sidebar here, this is effectively the same dwell that is used to control the Reaper, which is a single solenoid closed bolt system. The dwell must be high enough to fire the solenoid, allow the nozzle to retract and load the next BB. And finally, dwell number four. This is the value that allows the nozzle time to move forward and fully load the BB before firing. Ideally, this value is high enough to leave a brief pause between the loading process being completed and the BB being fired. This very short amount of time is actually quite important as allowing the BB to have a pause between the loading and firing will improve the shooting performance of your system and keep your gun more accurate. As this brief pause is just enough to help your BB settle in the hop and have more consistency shot to shot than it would otherwise. This is actually one of the coolest parts of our single valve Inferno Gen 2, as we have a patented technology that makes the Gen 2 the only single solenoid system on the market with this type of dwell, helping it to outperform our older engines like the Gen 1 Inferno and many other engines on the market that are still using one-piece nozzle and poppet technology. As an added bonus, this dwell value is set automatically by the mechanics of the system, so there's no possibility of messing up your performance by choosing using the wrong dwell value. So whew, that was a lot of information and you might be a little overwhelmed. Don't worry though, all you need to do is try and remember the info that matters for whatever engine type you have. Or you could try and memorize this whole video, but I don't think that's gonna be an issue for you because you're probably on the way to set your dwell. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a like, maybe drop a comment and go check out the channel for other great videos just like this one. And maybe follow us too while you're there so you don't miss our upcoming video on how to set the dwell on all our different electronics. In the meantime, if you don't know how to set it, we'll link our knowledge base in the description where you can find the directions and all of our owner's manuals and other great resources on this subject as well. Thanks for watching and we'll see y'all out on the field.